What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the JW Show. Before we get started, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up button as well, too. All right. Now, getting back into it, topic we're talking about is social media. Yes, social media. More importantly, TikTok. But at the end of the day, social media. Do I believe TikTok is, a, is, a, is an issue in the world? Yes. But that's not this video. Social media. Social media in life. Because I say that because a lot of people are living their life based off social media. They see what other people are doing and it affects them. We're too much glued to our phones. We're too much glued to our smartphones. We're always scrolling. You know, I, me personally, I find myself constantly scrolling through Instagram, scrolling through Facebook. And it's like, for what? What's the joy? <laughs> why am I, why? And to me, I say social media is a huge problem in life because you got so many different things, whether it's current events, politics, you know, relationships, fashion, mental health, physical health, you know, people talking about random stupid stuff. And it's just so much stuff out there that where it's a problem. Social media is a huge problem. And I know it's calling the kettle black, on, on, especially on being on this platform. But I say it's a problem because we're easily brainwashed and manipulated. We are. And as I always say, especially when people post stuff about current events and stuff, too many times people are quick to pass judgment without knowing the facts. And it's one of those things where it's like, yo, hold on, let's, let's hear the facts first before we pass judgment. And it's like, you see stuff on like TikTok where people be talking about stuff that's going on, current events, relationships, whatever. That's cool, but again, that's one of those things where we're so quick to we're so quick to pass judgment. We we're so in tune to seeing drama and negativity and whatnot. We get glued and sucked into it, and it's like, oh my goodness. And then we see other people living life through their lens. You know, you'll see somebody with their family or their girlfriend or whatever, and they're having a grand old time and it's like, they seem happy. We're like, oh, I wanna be like them. Oh, how come I want that in my life? Oh, my life's not where that's supposed to be at. Oh my goodness. Or we'll see like, damn, he got the baddest chick in the game. Damn, just in the third. Damn, he got a nice ass crib. Damn, that car nice. Damn. We see that, it's like, damn. I was, I could be like that, damn. Or we'll hear some shit happen, what's going on in the world and it's like, oh my God, that's so horrible. And it's like, yo, put the fucking phones down and sit back and think. We don't know their life. Everyone lies for social media. No one's true on social media. Well, some people are, but majority of people are fake on social media. Two, who gives a fuck about their life? If they ain't paying my bills, who gives a fuck? Three, current events, yeah, that's cool and all. But if I want to see, if I want to see current events that, that actually I actually give a fuck about in my community, I'm gonna flip on my news or hey, I might check out my my local news anchors, you know, website to see what's popping. Because I get the full story. Because the facts. When you see stuff on social media, social media can be very deceiving because People only paint one side. Prime example. Somebody can post a video of somebody getting there, getting tossed out of a, out of a business, arguing, getting tossed out of a, out of a business or whatever. And we see that video, and we're quick to say, "Oh, this is bad. This is bad. We need to boycott that business. This and the third. We need to go protest." Ah, when it's like, "Yo, why? Why do we need to? Why do we need to boycott? Why do we need to protest?" Let's see what led up to that. But again, because social media only paints that one narrative, we're blinded by it. So we're easily manipulated. And when I say we're blinded by it, it's so easy for enemies, per se, to brainwash us and give out information that we're going to fall for. Because if it's one thing, 
anyone knows about us is that we're easily misled. We see stuff on social media, we believe it instantly. No fact checking whatsoever. We can see something, oh my God, that's horrible. When you see the, the actual full story, it's like, oh, maybe we did overreact. Yeah, you did. So do I believe that social media should be very limited? Yes, I, I definitely agree with that because it affects your mental health. It affects your relationships, whether business, professional, you know, business, personal, whatever. It affects that. It affects your love life. It affects a lot of things because we're glued to it. So yes, I believe social media is to be very limited in, in, what, in the outcomes and stuff that we see because we need to get back to the human side of things, the interactions where, hey, you see something, okay, hey, you wait to see your facts, boom, you talk about it, okay, boom, next. Simple as that. Because, prime example, relationships. We can see stuff on, on social media about somebody going through a divorce and what's the first thing that women say? Oh, she deserves so much better. How could they go through a divorce? And it's like, yo, People get divorced all the time, B. Who cares? They've been together for five, six, seven, ten years. Who cares? They divorce. They fall in love with each other. It happens. You know, and, but again, social media has, has people thinking that it's a crime and wrong to go through a divorce. When it happens all the time, people fall in love with each other. So if they go through a divorce, hey, okay. Next, <laughs> I'm not going to lose sleep because a person filed for divorce is going through a divorce or something or they got caught cheating and that's what I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. I could give two shits less. What I care about is hey, where's the cheapest gas at? Or hey, where's the cheapest flight? Who has the cheapest hotel? Where what's the latest sales? Where can I cop this new piece of stuff this new product that I want for a low price? That's what I care about. That's where social media is good help me find the best deals. But outside of that, all that other bullshit in the world the drama, the current events and stuff, the negative current events people show on the one-sided approach that people show on social media is completely fucking BS. And yes, we need to start limiting just how we how exposed we are because we're getting to that dangerous tipping point to where we're not going to be able to see the difference between reality and Assimilation, which is not because we're too we're too eager to again believe everything that we see. Like I always, like my parents always told me, there's three sides to every story, and I use that approach for life. There's my side, there's your side, and there's the truth. Now, if you want to take that and just believe first impressions of what you see, then that's you. But me, I'm always gonna wait for the truth and the facts because I'm based off facts, and I'm not gonna let social media determine how I live my life. Because how somebody else is living their life, that's them. I can only live my life. Because I, I work hard for my life. They don't pay me to worry about their life. Simple as that. Let me know what y'all think about social media. Do you think it's a great asset? Or is it a great liability? Or can it be used responsibly? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks so much for rocking with me. Make sure, again, you subscribe to this channel. Because I'm always coming back with new stuff. It's the JW Show. And until next time, I'll see you when I see you.